an army base in Bangkok. This is where the military summoned over 100 members of Thailand's government and opposition. One of them was the former Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat. This is reported to be her car. Sources say that she was later taken to another army base. Thailand's army chief, Prayat Chanacha, also invited foreign diplomats for talks. The invitations said the intention was to bring a better understanding between the diplomats and the army. But many ambassadors decided not to attend. The military is getting a lot of criticism from abroad because of its tough measures. These soldiers are patrolling around the Democracy Monument in Bangkok. Protesters who had been on the streets for months are now clearing their camps in the city. But it's the supporters of the government, the red shirts, who now have the most to lose. It remains unclear how they will react if the rest of their political leaders are detained. The yellow shirts represent Bangkok's middle and upper class. Although the army has closer ties to this group, many are unhappy with the current situation. I'm quite disappointed because we spent six months protesting and the people haven't gained anything. I'll come here again if the military don't do what we were demanding. I will come again. Thailand's army has to quickly find solutions, otherwise the relative calm on Bangkok's streets may soon change for the worse.